that's the sound you make when you're an Android developer and you've been stuck without any support from the Android Studio on the new M1 Max for many months now. Actually, it's been just a little over a year since Apple announced the ARM architecture support and the new Apple Silicon processors that were eventually released at the end of 2020. Now, don't get me wrong, Android Studio did work on the M1 machines, but not so well. In fact, it was probably the worst performing software development package I've seen running under Rosetta while I was doing my test for software developers. If you haven't seen those videos, you can check them out. I'll link to them down below. Well, folks, the light at the end of the tunnel is near and Android Studio has a beta out now that's compatible with the M1 chips and we're gonna test it. I'll also be doing some Android build races with the M1 MacBook Air versus an Intel MacBook Pro. And I'll also pin it against the Android build on this Ryzen 9 machine to see which laptop is the boss right now. Because as rumors have it again, well, you know how it is with rumors. Don't quote me on this. <laughs> there will be some new Apple Silicon Beast machines this year. I'm gonna need to test those, of course. And by that time, Android Studio will be fully tuned for Apple Silicon, hopefully. So you know the drill, subscribe so you don't miss those. All right, so I'm gonna install Android Studio here uh, on this M1 machine. It's a MacBook Air M1. But just before I do, let's get a baseline to see how long it takes to build a project using Rosetta. That's right, I'm gonna first run the project using regular Android Studio. And by the end of the video, we'll see if the M1 version is actually tuned better and faster than the regular version. All right, let's get right to it. So I'm gonna first start off with just a Hello World application. And then after that, we're gonna test a pretty large build. It's gonna be a fork of Firefox. So just a, a note here, this is the version of Android Studio that's not supporting Apple Silicon, version 411. I'm gonna create a big basic activity application here. Let's call it my application two. Sure, and API 28 is fine, that's good. Let's finish this up. And this is the part where we wait. <laughs> this is my least favorite part. Did I ever mention that? I think I mentioned that before. I just created the project. Why do I have to wait so long? Maybe Apple Silicon version will fix that. Okay, here we go. So I've got the app here. It looks like all my processes have stopped. I'm gonna pop open the Gradle tab here so I can run one of these scripts. And under tasks, build, I'm gonna run this build command right here. Let's go. And what's nice about this task here is that it'll build the application, but it'll also tell you how long it takes right at the output screen down here at the bottom. And just uh, to prove to you that this is running under Intel, here we go, Android Studio, and there's the Intel version. We're gonna check the uh, Silicon version as well. Okay, we're done. Build successful in one minute and five seconds. And that's just the Hello World application. Now, because we need to do this a couple of times just to get an average, I'll report it at the end, by the way, all the results. Uh, I'm going to go to build, clean project and here under scripts just to make sure everything is clean i'm gonna run this clean script there we go and let's do the build one more time and go all right this one finished in 27 seconds not sure what the big difference is let's do it one more time i'm gonna clean the project here and let's do the build without running the clean command there we go 20 seconds seems to be getting better and better i'm gonna clean the project one more time and Let's do this clean command one more time. Okay, and build one more time. Not sure why it took that much longer, more than two times longer on the first run than on the subsequent runs, even though I clean it in between. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. But I'll take down all the notes and I'll throw out the outliers. This one took 17 seconds. So at this rate, maybe if I run it 100 more times, it'll give me back time. Huh. All right, I think this is good enough. We've got some numbers to be able to do an average. I'm gonna close this project and let's open up this Android Studio Benchmark Master. By the way, this project right here was a fork from Firefox by a gentleman named Sergei Ratyevsky and he forked it at a certain place in time in the Firefox mobile repo so that we can get a consistent result if we're gonna be doing multiple builds of the same project using different systems. I'll link to his repository down below as well so you can check it out. But this is essentially Firefox for mobile. So we're gonna build that right now. I've opened it up and we're gonna execute this assemble debug script according to the instructions and let's go. All right, all right, we're past the one minute mark 
and it should be coming to a close pretty soon. Really curious to see if the silicon version of this is going to be much faster. There we go. Build is done in two minutes and 20 seconds on the Intel version of Android Studio. Let's write that down. Now to clean this, I'm going to go to build clean project. And there's also a clean script that I'm going to run here as well. There it is. And let's kick this off one more time. Assemble debug. Go. I wish this thing came with an alarm. Don't believe me you can fall asleep in two minutes. Wanna bet? All right, we're done. Two minutes and 16 seconds for the second build. And we're really close, folks. We're really close to that first build time. Now, just to get an average, I am gonna do this one more time. Run the clean script and run assemble debug one more time. All right, we are coming closer to the end here, folks. And build successful in two minutes and 16 seconds, exactly the same amount of time as the second run. And now, now it's time to get the ARM version. So I went and downloaded the Android Studio that's compatible with Apple Silicon. And on July 28th, this was the latest Android Studio Arctic Fox release, version 20.20.3.1. And if you download the installer for Mac, you don't get the Apple Silicon version, you have to go get it down here under zip files. So I guess they don't have a smart installer that decides. Anyway, Mac ARM, that's the one I downloaded. And that's the one I'm running here. By the way, I did try the regular installer and it's still running the Intel version. That's how I know. So here is the Arctic Fox 2020.3.1. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my application two. That's the one that we built previously with the regular version of Android Studio. And here it is. Now, right away, what I've noticed is that it pops open immediately and it's instantly on. That is making me enjoy this a lot more already. Okay, I'm gonna be unbiased here and I'm gonna just run it and see what the results will be. So I'm gonna go to build, clean the project, and then I'm gonna execute the build command. There we go. Let's see how long this takes. It says build successful in 20 seconds. So that's still faster than any of the runs that we did in the Intel version. Let's make sure we are running the Apple version. And there it is, Android Studio. It is running Apple. So this is the proper version. Let's do that one more time because we need to do this multiple times anyway. Nine seconds. Wow, okay, huge improvement. Now, just for the sake of it, let me run this one more time. Clean project and build. Did it really take nine seconds? Wow, eight seconds. So folks, we are seeing some serious improvement here. Let me run it one more time because it only is gonna take a few seconds. I don't care how many times I built it because I don't have to wait that long. And this one is nine seconds. All right, folks, moving on to our big project, which is Firefox. And let's open up that Android Studio Benchmark Master project. Yeah, it, it just opens. I don't need to wait for anything to build, no Gradle tasks, nothing like that. I'm gonna clean this project. Okay, we are off to the races. Let's see how long this one takes. And right now we're at one minute and 50 seconds and we're still not done. So it's not giving me that much confidence that it's gonna be that much faster. Okay, it is faster. It's at one minute 56 seconds for the first one. I'm gonna do the clean. I'm gonna do Gradle clean. And now I'm gonna do Gradle assemble debug. And one more time, let's do this. Okay, now we're seeing some serious progress here. One minute, 28 seconds. I'm gonna jot that down. And folks, I think we have some clear improvements here in the build speeds for Apple Silicon. I'm gonna throw the graph up on screen right now. And as you can see, the averages for Apple Silicon builds are much, much faster than their Intel counterparts. By the way, this is running on Apple Silicon machine, even the Intel version. So that Rosetta translation could be contributing to the slowdowns in our Intel-based Android Studio builds. So stay tuned for my tests on actual Intel machines compared to the Apple Silicon machines. And I'm gonna do this on Ryzen 9 as well. All right, thanks for joining me, folks. Here's another video you might enjoy on Android and Apple Silicon. See you next time.